Hey guys, Dr. Ben here. Let's talk about the thyroid and what the thyroid is causing in everyday life. If the thyroid is out of balance, it is causing damage, it is causing imbalances, all types of different things. But there's things you can do today and right now to actually jumpstart your thyroid. You don't just have to rely on your levothyroxine, your T4, or your nature thyroid, or your armor, or just taking some supplement to help your thyroid. There's things, and we call them hacks, that you can do today. And what's a hack? A hack is is basically a little trick, something that you can do on a daily basis. You know, you've got them for all types of stuff. You can look online and be like, 20 you know, hacks that you can do with rubber bands around the house, things like that. But there are health hacks, these biohacks that you can do to really jumpstart your thyroid. And, and these really work. If you do this and do this on a regular basis, you will start seeing some change regardless of what, if you're on medication or you've got Hashimoto's or any of these things. So welcome everybody. Love having you on. Pop down below where you're watching from. Love to see you guys all over the country, uh, even all over the world. We've got New Zealand, we've got uh, Australia, South America, all types of different things. So great having you guys on. Um, so here's some things that we're looking at with the thyroid. Um, th remember, the thyroid is basically our thermostat. It's our metabolism. It's our get up and go. Hey Ann, great to see you there in Florida. So when we start thinking about the thyroid, you know, how can we trick the thyroid into going more, getting hotter, revving things up? Well, one of the first things is the temperature. I, I went to college in Syracuse, New York, very cold. And hey, Gala in Thermopolis, if, if anyone has not been to Thermopolis, you gotta go. It's one of the best hot springs areas in this country. Love Thermopolis. Um, so uh, I, I went to school in Syracuse, New York, very cold. We had these apartments that were run by the university and you couldn't adjust the thermostat. It was set on whatever, 69 or whatever it was. So we would take bags of ice, we would put them over the thermostat, it would trick the thermostat into thinking uh, that, hey Olivia, great to see you, it would uh, trick that, um, that thermostat into thinking, wow, it's colder in here than it was, really is, and it would turn up that, that furnace, turn up that heater, and we would get warmer in there. And so this is basically one of the thoughts. You've got to sleep colder. So when, you know, now it's getting colder, especially for those of you north of, you know, the Kansas line or whatever, whatever it is, it's getting colder now. So you want to turn that thermostat down a little bit more. We sleep at 60. A lot of you are like, holy cow, you guys are crazy, but we've got uh, hot water heat in our room so we can just do our room only keep it at 60 um, for a high at uh, at nighttime in there and that actually is going to stimulate the thyroid like holy cow it's colder we better turn up that metabolism we better turn up that metabolic uh, state so uh, sleep colder number two get rid of gluten um, 100% if you have a a thyroid issue uh, hey there in Mississippi, if uh, we've got a thyroid issue going on, 80% of the women that have low thyroid, it's Hashimoto's. If you have Hashimoto's, you should not be on gluten. So in general, stay off of gluten um, and it's just going to be much better for your thyroid. Number three, avoid halogens. Halogens are chlorine, they're fluoride, they're bromine. So this is going to be get a water filter. Get a water filter for your underneath... Um, uh, yes, and stimulate your thyroid by sleeping cold. You want to get a water filter under your uh, counter. We use a reverse osmosis, add electrolytes back in, um, and then you want shower filters on each one of the showers in your house. We have a whole house filter that takes all the uh, the chlorine and the fluoride out of the of the water as well. So um, reverse osmosis will take out chlorine and fluoride. Most of the little shower filters uh, that you can get at, at Sprouts or wherever are going to be um, just taking out the chlorine, but you're not drinking that water anyway, so the, the fluoride's not getting into the system. So um, chlorine, fluoride, and bromine are, are going to block the iodine absorption into the body. Um, you want to limit soft drinks, and then uh, really pools and hot tubs, if they're chlorinated, ditch them. Do not go in there. You want to go in with the salt systems. So uh, those, those are some of the big ones to do to avoid the halogens, chlorine, fluoride, and bromine. Um, you want to do thyroid massage. And thyroid massage, basically the thyroid is right here. And think about kind of pumping that. So you're going to come this way and basically pump 
pump like this and you're gonna get blood flow into that thyroid and do that a couple times a day, a minute or two each time and that's going to be very stimulating to the thyroid. You can actually stimulate blood flow and get more hormone production, get more hormone release. So you just sit there and you just pump on that thyroid and get that heat going into the thyroid, get that blood flow going in there. Number five, we're going to go with exercise in the morning. So remember, the thyroid is a thermostat. So the more you can get it up and running and revved up and excited, the more it's going to stimulate just that metabolism throughout the day. So if we think, oh my gosh, we've got exercise coming, you better get exercising in the morning and that's going to drive that metabolic state a whole lot better. So first thing in the morning, uh, get up, exercise, get that metabolism going. It's going to stimulate the thyroid. And then number uh, six, uh, there we go, Lori, yoga shoulder stand pose. Yeah, that's a great one too, where your uh, legs are up the wall, etc. cetera. Um, so hydrotherapy, so kind of like sleep, sleeping colder. Well, this is actually going to be directed uh, cold water at your thyroid. So end of the shower, you're going to uh, 30 seconds cold water straight onto that thyroid. If you've got a, a shower head, you can do it that way. Um, this is for those of you that are tough out there. And uh, what was it other than chlorine, the filter? Uh, fluoride. So fluoride is in that same column. So if you look at the periodic table, um, fluoride, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they're all in that same column and they're going to block each other. So uh, you want to get fluoride-free toothpaste, uh, a lot of those different things, but get it out of your water. Um, so hydrotherapy, cold water straight over that thyroid and just stimulate it and the body says, holy cow, it's cold out here. I better turn this up and get my thyroid going a whole lot better. So try these hacks today. Uh, sleep colder. We like it down at 60 degrees. Get rid of gluten 100%, not even any at all. Um, check for Hashimoto's, of course. That's going to be good things through, through there. And that's what's going to drive a lot of people's Hashimoto's. Chlorine, uh, fluoride, and bromine, um, those halogens. You want to do thyroid massage every day, at least once or twice a day. Exercise in the morning and then 30 seconds, uh, end of the shower, just cold straight on that one. And you will stimulate that thyroid to get moving a whole lot better. So uh, share this with anybody that you know, anybody that's dealing with thyroid issues. Uh, these are things that you can do every single day. You don't have to go see a therapist, an acupuncturist, uh, anybody else. Hey, Victoria in the Philippines, great to see you. Um, you don't have to, you know, take double the medication, whatever. You can actually stimulate this and potentially even start reducing your medication if you can get your thyroid to work better. All right, guys, love having you on. Uh, let me know what questions you have. Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend and we will see you on Monday. Take care.